Japan and Taiwan. Two Asian markets, each with its own unique food culture and each presenting different opportunities for U.S. beef and pork exports. A team of U.S. beef, pork, corn and soybean producers spent a week visiting Japan and Taiwan as part of a U.S. Meat Export Federation Market Expo. The goal was to see the ways USMEF is working to grow U.S. beef and pork exports in Asia. It's been a really interesting and enlightening for me. I mean, I I've, I've understand the, that we've been send meat all over the world, but to, to actually meet consumers in other countries and to see how they how they prepare it, how they eat it, and to understand their perceptions of our product has been eye-opening to me. Having the opportunity to come over here with members of the other groups, uh, corn, soybean growers, cattlemen's association, pork producers, it gives us all a chance to look at the same thing, to get on the same page, and I think that's one of the issues that we need to deal with directly as U.S. producers, uh, the fact that we're going to need to work together in these markets. The more we can work together, I, I think it's just going to be that much more beneficial for all of us. Oh, I've had a, just a fabulous experience. It is amazing to me to see the impact that uh, our checkoff dollars that I contribute and then my colleagues in the beef industry uh, to promote U.S. meat, particularly U.S. beef, and I am exceptionally pleased at how well it is received in the uh, Japanese market. The density of population is something I would never get used to. And if, I, if we can get all these people to eat uh, USA beef and pork, the opportunities are tremendous. Starting in Tokyo, the team visited the U.S. Embassy for briefings on access issues and U.S. MEF marketing strategies, toured cold storage facilities, and had a chance to see pork and beef promotions in restaurants and retail stores. First thing that has been surprising to me is how well uh, beef is displayed and promoted in the supermarkets. We've had the opportunity to actually go into grocery stores, see how consumers see it, uh, and by and large it is very well received, although there are some challenges yet to be met. I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah, I'm impressed. Yeah, it says American Beef on their aprons. They've got a little display going on here with the, uh, the We Care logo and then uh, the red, white, and blue. Japan is now the third largest market for U.S. beef and is the leading market for U.S. pork with more room to grow. For example, the team visited a Tongatsu restaurant where U.S. pork loin is prepared in a unique way that has strong appeal for Japanese consumers. That was as good a pork loin as I've had uh, anywhere. I couldn't tell any different than if I had prepared it at home other than the way they uh, breaded it. Juicy, tender, I mean, incredible. Now, last year, 2010, was a great year um, for pork in Japan. It was you know, almost a record year. We had about $1.6 billion in exports here. Um, you know, definite growth over the previous year. Japan, I think, is really one of those key markets. It's a high value, high margin market here. Uh, the returns to the producers, I think, are you know, it's double or triple of what it would be from any other market. So it's a, a key market for, for the U.S. pork industry. Big market could be a bigger market, and uh, part of making that a bigger market is continuing the ongoing effort of interaction with, from my office, the government here, and MEF, uh, Meat Export Federation's office here in, in Tokyo, efforts on their part to educate the consumer and the trade about the good qualities of U.S. Uh, beef and pork. Japan is home to more than 127 million people, and for the team, a unique experience was the opportunity to hear from a panel of Japanese consumers. The consumer panel we had the other day, I mean, they talked about how uh, that the fish is maybe uh, becoming less of their diet, and whether it may be pork or beef, I think we have an opportunity to expand that. And it seems like uh, the Japanese people really enjoy U.S. beef, and probably uh, would love to have the opportunity to purchase more beef if we can just meet the requirements we need from a trade standpoint. Definitely, the, the market is just, un, we haven't begun to tap the market potential here. The thing that, that hit me today listening to the consumers, I think, is that food safety is right at the top of the list. The visit to Japan wrapped up with a stop at FoodX, a huge annual food expo that draws a crowd of 80,000 food buyers from all across Asia. It's unbelievable. 
the way it's sorted out by countries is pretty interesting too. So you can see the you know what uh, coming from Australia or Korea or, or Taiwan or just wherever. So it's it's really interesting. I've actually never been in a trade show this large. Being a pork producer, I sort of looked at the all the. Uh different uh, countries and their supplies of pork and just tried to get a different look. And it's uh, amazing to me that we have some pretty tough competition out there and that we need to provide the best product we can. At FoodX, USMEF promoted pork back ribs and provided buyers the opportunity to taste U.S. pork and beef. Back ribs in Japan have been a tremendous success story. And actually that all started here at FoodX about two years ago. The success from this just within two years where uh, we've introduced this Imports of back ribs have gone from basically zero to you know over 100 metric tons per year. I think you know tasting is a very important, yeah, because uh, some of people they do not know the you know uh, quality of U.S. beef and pork, especially you know beef. Uh, we uh, could not import you know U.S. U.S. beef for two years and a half, you know, because of a BSE. So uh, especially younger you know buyers, they do not know about you know US, U.S. beef. Moving on to Taiwan, the Market Expo team visited a street market in the capital city of Taipei, where a USMEF pork promotion was in progress. In Taiwan, pork has been, uh, has been strong, uh, continues to be pretty strong, and it looks like there are things coming up in the future that uh, you know, possibly is going to promote more products, uh, buy more U.S. pork. So, you know, just those little things, uh, it, you know, it gives us a little bit more awareness. We have better understanding what to expect out of these countries, what we can possibly do to create new markets over here. They also have their own unique styles here that are unique to Taiwan and the cooking. And, and for them, you know, Taiwan is probably one of the largest pork consuming countries, you know, per capita throughout Asia. So the fact that they consume pork and the ways they do it is very, very unique. Though many Taiwanese still shop at markets like these, Big supermarkets and an international food culture are becoming more prevalent. Taiwan is a great market for U.S. food and agricultural products. It's our sixth largest export destination overall. For beef in particular, we hit a record $220 million last year, a growth of more than 50% year over year and accounting for 47% of the domestic market. So this is absolutely a very important market for U.S. food and agriculture. Taiwan is home to a growing economy and a population of over 23 million. The U.S. Meat Export Federation has helped fuel the growth of U.S. pork and beef featured in Taiwan's restaurants by working with chefs and conducting promotions. I think that's one of the really you know, unique and positive things about Taiwan is that they have a very strong economy here. They have the purchasing power to go out. For them, they're always looking for you know, high quality, good value products, and that's where U.S. beef fits in perfectly. And U.S. beef, actually, they are so uh, uh, great to see uh, most of the five-star hotel and high elegant uh, restaurant here. They use a lot of the U.S. high quality beef. I think the most of the product they, they like is uh, what is uh, uh, grain-fed or coin-fed beef in Taiwan, and especially they're talking about the marbling. If you like beef, you have to try U.S. beef because uh, U.S. beef will show you the original flavor of beef and the true taste of the beef. We do, lo we do love U.S. beef because it's the uh, king of the beef, the best one. Taiwan was the fifth largest export market for U.S. beef last year and also a leading market for U.S. pork sales, valued at more than $55 million. USMEF's work is funded by USDA and producer checkoff dollars. And although the Market Expo was a whirlwind trip for the producers who participated, the value of gaining first-hand experience in these key markets was clear. As far as the, these cultures go, there's a tremendous opportunity for beef and pork, and I can see very well where the checkoff dollars are being spent. It's simple. Uh, whether it's beef or pork, livestock is our biggest consumer. I mean, we can't, as, as corn growers, can't afford to lose that market. I mean, we need that market and we need to support that market and do everything in our power to, uh, to make beef and pork uh, exports grow. We heard time and time and again from various companies, uh, the U.S. Embassy, uh, you know, different people that uh, were in a position to, of authority that USMEF has done a great job over here. Without their help, we wouldn't be seeing these markets expand and grow. And so uh, as a, a producer and a member of this group over here, I, I just 
you know, I can't say enough good things about it at this point. And I think for a cattle producer, uh, that's certainly the message I hope to be able to take back is how important these uh, Asian and for other foreign markets are to us as livestock producers.